guys welcome to episode 31 of the football manager creator showcase um, uh, i am the custard prophet so if you're not aware what this is all about i ask uh, two football manager content creators who make their content maybe on twitch or youtube or elsewhere i ask them to to come over here and talk a little bit about the content they make about themselves um the sort of things that got them involved in in making content on on youtube uh, and a bunch of other things as well uh, we get to find out a little bit more about the uh, the people who make the football manager content on youtube and elsewhere so that's the point of it if that does sound like fun well stick around we have two awesome creators waiting in the wings ready to tell you about them uh, about themselves and their channel um so that is Laodemus and also Pressing Forward FM. Two great creators who have been, I think both of them are less than a year old, their channel, um, and uh, but both of whom have really uh, started very, very quickly. Uh, I'm, I've been aware of Laodemus for quite some time, um, probably since he came onto the scene. I really liked his thumbnail styles and I was meaning to get involved in his um, in one of his saves, the the Iberian Sun save, I I kept meaning to sort of get get on board with that, but never managed to. But this time, FM Twenty One's come around. I have managed to to uh, start watching his content, and I'm very happy I'm doing that. Great save with the Belgian national side, and moving on to Stuttgart um, here for the uh, for the main save. Both of who both. Uh, of which are uh, really really enjoyable uh, and and his style of presentation is really good pressing forward fm uh, i have to admit i don't watch his stuff at the moment but i'm keeping an eye on his stuff like i do many others dip in and out of the odd odd episode so yeah he is someone who has thrown himself fully into the football manager community in many many different places and ways very supportive member of the community um yeah and, and you always see him popping up here and there yeah uh, i think importantly he is just changed his his computer so he's he's got a much more powerful computer he's got an unboxing video on his channel if you want to see what he's got but it is going to mean that the uh, the content that he makes is going to be bigger and it's going to be better and it's going to be more exciting and he's also moving over to twitch as well so it's all all upwards and onwards for pressing forward in his channel so let's go and meet the both of them and see what they've got to say about themselves Hi guys, my name is Jochen aka Leo Demus and I am 38 years old and born and raised in Belgium. Well I guess you could say I'm still pretty new to the whole content creation thing. I only started out in March of 2020. Thank you COVID-19 by the way. Um, so far I've only put out Let's Play videos for FM20 and FM21. That probably isn't going to change right away because I am really enjoying it too much to change that concept. I'm not into experiments, to be honest. That's really not my thing. But I am going to um, put out some tutorial-ish videos. I'm going to mix those in in my Stuttgart episodes. And those will be about, I mean, the usual suspects. Tactics, training, scouting, you name it. If you have suggestions, please leave them in my comment sections and I promise I will listen to you. Oh, well, I really love the improvements they have done on the match engine because I think that was necessary also, to be honest. But I keep discovering little things like certain types of passes that were simply not in the game yet and that you see in real life football all the time. So I'm really glad they, they took care of that. And probably the main thing also, and I am a software developer myself, so that is why I am baffled with how they have optimized the speed, the loading time, the saving time, I think even the overall processing time of the game, because I have a lot of leagues loaded in my Stuttgart save, for example, and it's just lightning fast. I can't really describe it otherwise. So thank you, Sports Interact. Well, I have put a video out there with my FM21 plan, so feel free to check that out. But in short, for the beta or beta, whatever you call it, I have tried to manage Belgium and take them as far as I could in the Euros of 2021. The series has ended by now, so 
It's all out there on my channel. Feel free to check it out, especially if you're interested in some international management. Let's head it away once again with Sal collects it. The Brune, Mertes, back to the Brune. Oh, Lukaku. Oh, we are 1 0 up. I thought it was offside, but I think we are good. That's his 60th goal from for Belgium, even. Now, for my main FM21 series that has just started, by the way, I am managing VfB Stuttgart in Germany. So, the plan there is quite simple. I want to transform them from a newly promoted Bundesliga club to a European giant. The biggest hurdle, probably, is to knock Bayern Munich off their German football throne. And I think if we can do that, we are also ready to conquer Europe because that probably will go hand in hand. So feel free to check that out. Videos coming out every Saturday and every Sunday. And then later on in the FM season, I have planned a special save because it will be the first time ever in any football manager that I will manage a club in the MLS in America. I will take control of New York City FC. And we will simply try to, I don't even know what there is to win there. Is there, there is probably like also a Champions League going on. Well, that will be the end goal of that save. Um, but with all those rules they have and the trading system and the drafts, I might need some help, you guys. So feel free to, whenever that series launches, help me out in the comment section. Well, I have been playing football manager since pretty much as long as I can remember. So the early championship manager days, uh, I was definitely there. I can't remember the exact year, but probably around 95, 96. I'm not sure, but I guess you can call me an FM slash CM veteran. And that is probably why at a, at a certain point I got, I, I was looking for some YouTube videos for that. And I came across Lelujo, and he is pretty much the only one that I ever watched. And all of a sudden, I have no idea how it came to be. Maybe because of the Corona thing, and I was looking for a new hobby. I am, I'm not really sure, actually. I can't tell you. But I just decided to try and do exactly that myself, because I think I have a very similar profile to Lelujo. He's about my age, probably. Maybe even the exact same age. I don't know. I should ask him. Um, but I don't know. Like, I, I felt a real connection. And I simply tried to do the same thing. And I'm not trying to copy him or anything. But I'm having fun so far. So, who knows? Well, as I already mentioned, Lelujo is by far the one that I've watched the most, but I really enjoy watching smaller and newer creators like FM Digi, FM Llama, Old Lady Place has some awesome beginner videos. Um, too many to name, really. Uh, yourself, Custer Prophet, Dodgy Gamer, uh, FM Pino or Jalapino. I think he changed his name. Um, awesome, awesome stuff. And there's... To summarize, there is too much content for me to watch with the time that I have, so that pretty much says it all. Yeah, first of all, thank you guys so much for having me in this showcase. It is my honor to be here, and I really mean that. I also want to thank everyone that has supported me so far. It has been a blast, and I never expected to be at this point where I am right now. So once again, thank you. And apart from that, if you are interested in a fun approach to the game of Football Manager, as you can tell by this hat, I don't always take things that seriously. If that is something that you like, please pay a visit to my channel. And who knows, maybe you will like what you see. I hope to see you either way very soon. Come on, Keeper. Thank you. Whew. Koble now with the ball. Takes his time. He's already winning time after 11 minutes. Good on you, mate. Oh, and when he does that, he can do that all day. Silas Wamangituka, Gonzalez in the rebound. We are 1-0 up. And yes, this is his fifth goal of the season. Hello. My name is David and I am a football manager creator. I've been active in the content creation space since August this year. So it's been the past four months at the time of recording this. 
and yeah been thoroughly enjoying it up until this point and will continue to enjoy it until the time goes on as well as so my channel as you mentioned yeah it is a football manager um, content channel primarily i did have an old channel which i used to do other stuff on as well but to be honest foot manager took precedent and i went with uh with that to really kind of push on so i've kind of left that one back in the dust a little bit to be completely honest the content that i put out um it's primarily let play, let's play stuff so I have done two series on Foot Manager 2020 up until now. One was with Newells, where I was attempting to win the Copa Libertadores. One was with Leeds United, where I was attempting to make them a bit more of a kind of a, a larger force in English football, both of which ended pretty well in the end. We won the Copa Libertadores in our final episode. Oh, spoiler alert. Um, and we won the FA Cup with Leeds United and got them to a pretty, pretty decent, I think it was fifth or sixth in the league after a couple of seasons. So... Yeah, they both ended up pretty well. Um, I am going to be doing some other stuff once I've got everything squared away for FM21. Um, that's basically playing on a new PC, to be completely honest with you. So that's going to massively improve the, con the content quality on the channel. Um, I'll be doing some experiments, most likely. I'll be doing three Let's Play series. In fact, sorry, two Let's Play series, because one of them has already been going on in the beta so far. And other non-FM content will probably go on to any other channel, should that be the case. But we'll see how it goes. Cool. So my thoughts on the new features of FM21. Bit hit and miss, to be honest. Um, the new match engine, brilliant. Love it. The way that the game plays now, generally speaking, in terms of the, like, the way the ball's passed around, stuff like that, is much more realistic. I don't like the match screen. Um, it's fine when the game's at when you're actually watching highlights, but in between them, when you've got that massive dugout thing and the touchline tablet, I'm not a massive fan. I just don't. I think it's too overpowering in terms of information, and um, the optimization of the game is ridiculous. Like it takes you what like t ten seconds to save a game now, and yeah, I, generally the improvements have been really good um, considering everything that's happened to them. Obviously, it's been a difficult year for everyone, but I think Sports Interactive have really smashed it out of the park and. Uh, yeah, some been some massive, massive improvements so far. And so I'm currently on the channel doing uh, or finishing off my beta save. That's with Tottenham Hotspur. It's uh, a series called The Less Special One. Those of you who know Tottenham and know Jose Mourinho will understand the reference there. I'm clearly managing expectations because with the name of that title, um, that is into its second season now. Different to the other series on the channel, because as I mentioned, with the PC not being ready yet um the current hardware i'm using doesn't massively work with fm21 at the moment so i've been doing something slightly different i've been doing sort of video reviews of the seasons and things like that so we've currently just finished at the point of recording the first season i'm going to do one more before the see before the pc arrives and get the other stuff out there after that's done there's going to be two saves one's going to be something quite simple something probably short term which is going to be to do with getting England back to being, or getting England to be a world force, basically. I'm trying to get them up to there. The other one is something that I'm doing alongside um, Seventh Tier Club Salisbury FC. So I'm going to be their official virtual manager for the series. So it's going to be a, a road to glory type thing, get them right up to the top of English football and competing for major honours year and year, year, year out. And uh, yeah, going to be doing some fun stuff with the club as well. So make sure you go follow them on Twitter and follow me on there so you can keep a track of what's going on there as well. I started watching Foot Manager content quite late in the day, to be honest. I only started watching it in January 2020 when I started watching the Park to Prem series that Work the Space does. When he got into the Premier League with Town or Town and was very much a, a mainstay in the Premier League, I kind of just, I didn't really have the... the time to catch up with it to be honest so i started looking around other places i then fell upon lujo's uh, greek odyssey series which is fantastic I thoroughly enjoyed that and i realized at the time that well actually you know he released a a channel called his content academy which showed me how easy it was to record these videos um so i set it up i was doing a bit of streaming at the time on another account figured out what i could do did the first one and went from there and i've thoroughly enjoyed it ever since and it's something that is very, very good fun indeed. And yeah, couldn't enjoy it more. I've obviously mentioned too that I did enjoy and still continue to watch every now and again. Um, I'm not going to mention everyone. I'm going to mention the ones that I tend to watch pretty much as soon as their videos come out wherever I can. Um, big shout out to Demar Moore FM. Uh, he does some brilliant stuff on his channel. He's putting his um, 
kind of care and attention into the right places. His content has massively improved over the last six months since I've been following him and his journey. And yeah, he, his chat is great. His streams on Twitch are fantastic as well. So make sure you go and uh, go check them out if you haven't done already. ReCFC, he's been doing fantastic stuff with the Creator Club series. Um, at the point of recording, he's actually literally just released his new video on the MLS, um, which can be a fantastic one to watch because I don't know anything about the MLS. So it's going to be good to see him trying to figure it out as well. Uh, JDFM, fantastic guy, does some awesome, awesome stuff. Um, as you will know if you've watched these episodes before and uh, yeah he, he does some fantastic stuff doing some awesome to fm21 series that are really really outside the box and they're going to be fantastic to keep track of and then the final one i'll mention will be fm stinger mainly because he has given me a massive massive amount of um, help in terms of knowing how to improve the way i play football manager I was very much a assistant manager does everything guy up until I started watching his content and it's really well laid out videos, uh, goes through so much detail and what he says works as well. So if you're stuck in terms of tactical stuff or you just want to get a bit more invested in the game, definitely go and check out his stuff as well. Any of the business? Well, I should have said this at the start really, but um, massive thank you to Custard Profit and the guys for letting me um, get involved in this. It's been something that I've been keeping an eye out for a while and I was hoping at some point I would get the chance. So yeah, really, really pleased and massive thanks to the guys for letting me get involved in this. Um, like I said, the channel will be improving over time. So I'm going to be getting the new PC at the start of December, depending on when this goes out. So hopefully, but I hope potentially by the time this video goes live, you'll know that I've got that, which would be awesome. So the content quality is going to improve. That's the plan. Um, I am going to start streaming in the new year. I've got some ideas sorted out for that wherever I can as well. And yeah, everyone who's been on this on this um, Creator Showcase thing has been brilliant. And it's been it's a massive honor to be linked in with these sorts of people. So yeah, keep watching these. Make sure you sub to, sub to Custard if you haven't done already. Hit the sub button on my channel and the other guys who are in these as well, because they're all awesome people and they're all doing amazing stuff in their own respective field. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for having me. Alanzinho running forwards. This is good. Oh, oh, is he being sent off? Oh, I mean, that's an early sending off. I was about to say, this is one of those where he's going to end up getting through. He's going to miss and then they'll come back up and score the other end. But it's Nora from the free kick just outside the edge of the box. And he scored. Yes, come on. Hector Nora, second goal of the season. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, both of those creators. I'm sure you did. If you want to see more of them, well, just have a look down into the description below. You will find all the details that you need to go over to their channels and uh, start having a look around. Um, if you like what you see over there, make sure you hit their, a sub button on their, on their channels and yeah, keep up with their content for FM21. I imagine both of them are gonna be doing some awesome stuff well, if you've enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button to support this content. If you like the idea of this series or some of the other things that are going on on my channel, I will always be very, very happy for a sub from you lovely people. Um, lots of interesting and exciting things coming out on my channel uh, with relation to FM21. Uh, a couple of really interesting saves that are going on and the Football Manager Showcase, uh, as well as a bunch of other stuff. So if you like the idea of that, as I say, just hit that sub button and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss a thing. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time and uh, hopefully we will have something just before Christmas. I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like yet. It might be a little bit different than the usual stuff, so uh, keep your eye out for that. But until then, I'll see you. Goodbye. <laughs>